I'm getting ready to start a new painting and um, I thought it would be nice to review how I prepare a canvas. So I'm, my next painting is going to be on an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I've got the canvas here. The canvas, um, they come usually very loose and I like to tighten them up. So what I will do is I'll show you how I go about tightening my canvas. Um, I will also sandpaper the canvas and then I'm going to add my my stain to the canvas, my, um, my, my undercoat to the canvas so that um, I just don't have any white showing through as I do this. Um, my next painting is going to be a painting of a, a Tuscan scene uh, in Italy and we'll have some of the old stucco and um, some of the, um, the, the, the clay tiling, a lot of plants and uh, flowers. So um, um, that's kind of what I'm planning on this particular round. So first I'll just show you how I go about preparing my canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is just tighten my canvas. And there's several ways to do that. You can get wedges. Sometimes these canvases come with with wedges that um, you can put in here. You see these lines right here, these little grooves uh, on the corners. Is it precisely where you can, you can place your wedges? And that forces the frame to kind of separate a little bit as you, as you hammer those in. And that's a way to do that. But what I prefer to do is just uh, use my water bottle. So just use a standard water bottle. And I just like to spray the back um, with water. And I'll just smooth that out. And then I like to get in the corners too, so I'll, I'll just spray the corners, I'll spray all the way down. And I'll try to press and separate the canvas from, from the frame. Try to wedge my finger up there just to really, really kind of get the water down in there. Get another, another nice little spray. I'll get kind of behind the brace right here. Now, since this is a cotton canvas, as you know, when you when you uh, wash. When you wash laundry, when you wash a new, a new cotton shirt or a new cotton pair of uh, jeans, it will it'll shrink. And that's the same theory with spraying water on the back of a cotton canvas. It also works with linen. Uh, linen can tend to shrink up too. So um, when I use a linen canvas, I've got a linen canvas here as well. Linen does a good job uh, of tightening as well. And then you see here in the corner I've still got a little bit of bubble uh, so I really need to get down into the corners really well so I'll just spray right up into the corner That'll hopefully really help to tighten that up. So it's getting a lot tighter now, and as it continues to dry, these bubbles will start to fade away. So that's pretty good. The next thing I do is um, I like to sandpaper down my my canvases. Uh, they tend to have a lot of, uh, of, tra of um, groove and um, you know they're just not smooth. Canvas just doesn't really come 
necessarily smooth. And then, of course, they put the white gesso layer over it as well. Um, so I just like to get that smoothed out. I think that, uh, you know, and depending on your style and, and depending on uh, what you're trying to accomplish with your painting, you know, maybe you want to have you want to have that more raw, rough, uh, asperous sort of uh, uh, surface, but I don't. Um, I prefer to just use a real nice, fine uh, sandpaper, and then I'll come through here, and I will go all the way across, and I will smooth that out. So I'll go all the way down my canvas with these circular with these uh, circular movements, and and already I can tell there's such a big difference on the surfacing. It almost feels more like linen. You know, linen doesn't need a lot of sanding. I still do a little sanding on linen, but. Um, but this is just so much smoother, and I just I like that a lot more. So I'll go throughout my entire uh, canvas, and I will sandpaper it. I'll even sandpaper the edges and the corners because typically, if I'm not framing the painting, then I'll just paint the corners with and edges with black gesso. Uh, that way, it just looks a, a little nicer and more finished. So. Okay, so we've um, we've gone ahead and stretched our canvas with with water. We've sandpapered <clears throat> the canvas now, so it's nice and smooth. And uh, you know, make sure to to blow off or wipe off any of the excess uh, gesso that you know kind of has a, a it becomes dust pretty much uh, over the canvas. So you want to blow that off or wipe that off. Um, now it's time to go ahead and stain our canvas. Um, you know, some artists don't do this. They'll just apply their paint right to the raw canvas. Um, that's fine. You want to make sure that you um, apply your paint rather thick so that you don't have any of that white showing through, especially if you're using some uh, transparent colors. So you may need to even uh, double coat or triple coat in some instances, but uh, putting the, the color on here now is going to uh, help to, to mask the, the white canvas. So I've pre-mixed here um, a little white, some blue and purple, some doxazine purple, and some carbon black um, acrylic paint, and I'm going to go ahead and cover this. Uh, so you know, I'll just I'll apply water. Um, because I want to make sure that you know my canvas is nice and wet, and uh, that the that the paint will be able to come on rather smooth. So, and I usually use dirty water. I don't really mind dirty water. I kind of like dirty water too. It kind of adds a little bit of character to my paints. Um, you know, unless I need a real crisp color to be applied, then I'm not, I'm not too worried about using dirty water. So that's kind of why it's going on a little, a little dark here. All right, so I've got my, my color here on my palette. So I'll just come through now. And I've chosen, a, you know, to make a nice dark kind of charcoal gray color. I can apply over my canvas. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but um, and I just want to make sure that it can go on rather smooth and, and then dry on here. it's nice and even.
just a nice even distribution. I like to run my brush horizontal and diagonal. Let's turn it around. Run it this grain. All right, so we'll let that dry and then we'll be ready to we'll be ready to uh, then go ahead and start our next painting which again will be a, a Tuscan painting and I'll make sure to uh, make a video tutorial of that